the Textron Air Lance Scorpion is an American jet aircraft proposed for sale to perform light attack and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance duties. It is being developed by Textron Airland, a joint venture between Textron and Airland Enterprises. The prototype was secretly constructed by Cessna at their Wichita, Kansas facility between April 2012 and September 2013 and first flown on 12 December 2013. The Scorpion is a tandem sea twinjet aircraft with an all-composite material fuselage designed for light attack and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. Production costs were minimized by using common commercial off-the-shelf technology, manufacturing resources and components developed for Cessna's business jets, such as the flap drive mechanism is from the Cessna Citation XLS and Cessna Citation Mustang. The aileron drive mechanism is from the Citation X Textron Airland calls the Scorpion a strike aircraft, instead of a light attack aircraft. The joint venture also states the Scorpion is intended to handle non-traditional ISR flights such as those performed by US fighters in Iraq and Afghanistan. The Scorpion is designed to cheaply perform armed reconnaissance using sensors, to cruise above 15,000 feet, higher than most ground fire can reach, and still be rugged enough to sustain minimal damage. Scorpion is designed to be affordable, costing US $3,000 per flight hour, with a unit cost expected to be below US $20 million. Although it is a two-seat aircraft, it can be flown by a single pilot. Textron Airland selected Cobham PLC to design the cockpit, which will feature modern flat panel displays. The aircraft will not have fly-by-wire to keep costs down, and simplify the design. The demonstrator, as well as production versions, are powered by two Honeywell TFE 731 turbofans producing 8,000 pounds of thrust total. According to Textron Airland, endurance is optimized for spending 5 hours carrying out a lighter up to 150 miles from base stock Cayman Composites, a subsidiary of Cayman Aerosystems, provided several components for the Scorpion prototype, including the wing assembly, vertical and horizontal stabilizers, wing fuel access panels, main landing gear doors, and several close-out panels. Except for the landing gear and engine fittings and mounts, the airframe is all composite with an anticipated service life of 20,000 hours. The Scorpion is to have a 3,000 pounds payload of precision and non-precision munitions or intelligence collecting equipment in a simplified and reconfigurable internal bay. The 14.4 meters wings are largely unswept and have six hardpoints. A modular design allows for the wings to be removed and replaced by different wing designs. The internal payload bay has a payload capacity of 3,000 pounds. The external hardpoints have a payload capacity of 6,200 pounds. The Scorpion demonstrator completed pre-flight taxi trials on 25 November 2013 in preparation for its first flight. The Scorpion first flew on 12 December 2013 for 1.4 hours. The aircraft has the civilian registration N531TA and is designated as a Cessna E530. The flight occurred 23 months after the aircraft's conception, and the flight certification program will last two years. Textron Airland aimed to complete 500 flight hours and verify basic performance features by the end of 2014. Flight tests showed positive results in evaluations of performance and mechanical and electronic systems. On 9 April 2014, Textron Airland announced that the Scorpion had reached 50 flight hours over 26 flights. It was flown as high as 30,000 feet at speeds up to 310 kn, 360 miles per hour, 570 kilometers per hour and 430 kn, 490 miles per hour, 800 kilometers per hour, and subjected to accelerations ranging from 3.7 to 0.5 grams. Stall speed was identified as slower than 90 kn, 100 miles per hour, 170 kilometers per hour. Other tests performed included single engine climbs and in-flight engine shutdown and restart. Pilots reported that the Scorpion was nimble, agile, and powerful even when flown on one engine, with good low speed characteristics. It also demonstrated an intercept of a Cessna 182. Few issues were encountered, attributed to the use of mature, non-developmental systems. The Scorpion had flown 76.4 hours in 41 test flights by 19 May 2014. No planned flights were cancelled due to mechanical or maintenance issues. Incremental improvements were to be made to the aircraft over the course of testing. Participation in the Farnborough International Air Show in 2014 accelerated changes. Modifications included an engine inlet ice protection system, and a metal inlet leading edge in place of the composite one for flying in a broader range of weather conditions, a cockpit ladder, so the pilot does not need a ground crew ladder, an onboard oxygen generating system in place of oxygen bottles, and other non-urgent items. The modified Scorpion resumed flights on 1 June 2014. In July 2014, the Scorpion made its first public appearance at Farnborough Air Show. In October 2011, a group of outside investors known as Airland Enterprises approached Textron with the concept of building the world's most affordable tactical jet aircraft. 
the two companies created a joint venture called Textron Airland, and development of an aircraft began in January 2012. Neither Textron nor its subsidiaries had much experience designing fixed-wing combat aircraft. Textron saw a market for the type. While military aircraft typically grew more expensive, defense budgets declined. Named Scorpion, the first concept had a single engine. In early 2012, engineers reviewed over 12 design configurations that would meet their goals and shortlisted four designs. The team eventually settled on the tandem seat twin engine. Configuration.The aircraft was kept secret, being identified by the codename SCV-12-1, or simply the project. At its peak, the production team was 200 people, which eventually decreased to 170, including 120 engineers. The outside contours were made in May 2012, and wing production started in August 2012. Unconventionally, wind tunnel tests were performed after wing parts were already being made. In a traditional aircraft development program, the Department of Defense or Military Service would issue detailed requirements, potentially hundreds of pages long. Instead, Textron Airland did a market and capability analysis to determine what domestic and foreign forces required, but did not have. The design team made up of personnel from Textron, Cessna, and Bell Helicopter was assembled in one building with everyone focused on the task, enabling decisions to be made in hours instead of days. To not alert any potential competitors, development was kept secret through non disclosure agreements, obtaining parts from local suppliers, and the natural close knit small town nature of Wichita, Kansas. Technology from the Cessna inventory or other existing, readily available components and hardware were used. In November, Textron spokesman David Sylvester confirmed that Cessna had been involved in building the prototype Scorpion, but may not build any production models. Sylvester stated, depending on demand and manufacturing capacity needs, the final side of Scorpion manufacturing beyond the initial low-rate production is yet to be decided. It may be built at Cessna, but by the joint venture called Textron Airland. The Scorpion was unveiled on 16 September 2013. In 2014, the development to flight time was expected to take 4-5 years. The goal of the first flight within at least 24 months was achieved. The phrase speed is paramount, serves as impetus for the program, with the objective of creating the plane, flying it, and selling it as fast as possible to not miss opportunities. If a customer can be found, production could begin in 2015, and deliveries from 15-18 months. If the aircraft is intended to handle mission profiles typically performed by the U.S. Air National Guard, including domestic interdiction, quick reaction natural disaster support, air sovereignty patrols, and low-threat battlefield missions. The manufacturer claims it to be low cost and operate for about yes $3,000 per hour. The light attack and reconnaissance roles are typically felt by turboprop airplanes and UFs, often at lower cost. A concept for US military adoption revolves around the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, a high-cost aircraft for high-threat missions. A requirement could emerge for the low-cost Scorpion to handle low-threat missions. It could reopen the historically small market for tactical aircraft. A projected 60 nations may require tactical aircraft, but cannot afford high-end types. Nations operating turboprop aircraft may view the Scorpion as a cost-effective jet replacement, and F-16 operators may see a less capable aircraft as being able to meet many of their requirements. The target market is the U.S. Air National Guard and foreign nations that cannot afford the F-35, but want an aircraft to perform ISR and light attack missions better than turboprop planes. Buying and sustaining the Scorpion would cost less than A-10 or F-16 upgrades.